Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, bringing you another one of those Battlefield 5 Weapon vs videos. And today we're going to be learning a bit more about two of the medic's bolt action carbines, and how they compare with one another. The first gun is the Commando Carbine, a British weapon designed to be used by Special Operation Forces that had its very own built-in suppressor, which combined with subsonic ammo made it a pretty stealthy thing to use. The other gun is the M28 Tromboncino, essentially a modernised version of the Carcano M91 Carbine, fitted with a grenade launcher to help destroy vehicles, buildings and the people inside of them. These weapons both have a very unique style, being somewhat aggressive guns designed to be used over medium ranges, but they can also be quite risky to use here at the same time too, as if you miss too many shots, get caught off guard or get yourself surrounded, just like with a bolt action rifle, you're probably going to struggle to stay alive if things start to get a bit too hectic. Both the Commando Carbine and the M28 share a lot of similar qualities, which is no massive surprise really with them being placed in the same firearm category. But there's also quite a lot of notable differences too, which kind of make them better suited to slightly different playstyles, making them more or less effective over certain ranges and in specific situations. I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on all of these similarities and differences by slapping those key stats up on the screen and explaining exactly what they all mean along the way. Let's get on with it. So first of all, I'm going to do what I always do and chat about how dangerous the weapons are to start off with. Although they might seem to function in a very similar way, there's a lot of differences between their damage stats, fire rates and generally their ability to put another player down on the floor. As far as that damage goes, the Commando Carbine actually deals a teeny bit more within shorter ranges, but its bullets get far weaker the further they travel, as the gun deals a maximum of 60 damage at point blank range, which drops off instantly quite sharply, going down to 33 at 75 meters, and even lower still, eventually reaching the minimum of 30 at 100 meters. The M28 on the other hand dishes out slightly lower maximum damage within close quarters, inflicting 56 damage, which drops off instantly as well. But the M28 can retain a higher damage for a longer distance, as it's going to drop off much more gradually, dealing 50 damage up to 75 meters, which eventually leads to its minimum damage of 40 at 100 meters, so 10 damage higher than the Commando Carbine, basically allowing it to deal more damage over a longer distance as a result. In layman's terms, this pretty much means that the M28 can kill its victims in two shots up to 75 meters, but it's going to take an extra one to finish someone off who's any further away. The Commando Carbine will also be able to kill in two shots, but only up to 50 meters, as beyond this, it'll take three bullets to take down another player up to 75 meters, and possibly an extra fourth one to seal the deal if they happen to be any further, giving the Commando Carbine a respectable amount of power within those offensive ranges, but less so against people in the distance. If you smack an enemy right in the head with one of those Commando Carbine bullets, you'll be able to take them out straight away if they're within 50 meters. Any further than this, and it'll likely take more shots to finish the job. Because the M28 deals more damage over a longer distance, it's going to be able to kill with single headshots a tad further, up to 75 meters, giving it even more appeal for longer ranged engagements, possibly making it a better anti-sniper weapon. Look at the fire rates, there's only a very small difference between the two guns, with the Commando Carbine shooting a little bit quicker, having the standard fire rate of 97 RPM. The M28 shoots at 88 RPM, so I guess you could say that this gives the Commando Carbine a slight edge regarding kill times within shorter sightlines. But because it takes more bullets to kill beyond 50 meters, this will give the M28 a huge advantage when taking on players further than 50 meters. So let's talk about the general accuracy for both weapons and run over those recoil stats. The two bolt action carbines play out in a very similar way to the Assault Class's semi-auto rifles and the Scout Class's SLRs, in the sense that they share the very same horizontal recoil value of zero, basically making them both very accurate guns with no side-to-side -side movement as you open fire. So they're mainly going to be affected by that vertical recoil value instead, giving the weapons a slightly different feel as you fire away. In this case, it's the Commando Carbine that has the more manageable recoil pattern, kicking upwards slightly less so with a value of 1.5 instead of 2, making it the more stable option. This is probably going to make the weapon seem more usable within its optimal range over those early mid distances, and because you'll find it a little bit easier to stay on target, it should also complement the gun's ability to fire a tad faster too, perhaps making it a bit more spammable. The M28 is going to jolt upwards slightly more after every shot, and this might force you to fire a bit slower when engaging a target further away, helping to account for that higher power over distance, thus making it a bit more balanced in comparison to the Commando Carbine, 
which is often going to take an extra bullet or two to get the job done over longer ranges. The Commando Carbine's already at a disadvantage against players in the distance regarding kill times, so at least this will make it feel a tad easier to use, perhaps even allowing you to speed up those kill times by landing more shots on target rather than missing. Unlike the bolt-action rifles, you can stay scoped in whilst firing the guns off, so this vertical recoil value is going to impact their performances a lot more, probably making the Commando Carbine feel more controllable. But despite it having the superior recoil pattern, the Commando Carbine actually has a really crappy bullet speed that's going to make it feel quite tricky to use against players moving around beyond close range. It's only got a muzzle velocity of 350 meters per second, which is exactly the same velocity as the repeater pistol M1912. Not very impressive at all. This is easily beaten by the M28's faster bullets, which are going to fly through the air at the quickest speed of 500 meters per second, so the same as the Lee Enfield number 4. This still isn't exactly a rapid bullet speed, but it's enough to make the gun feel easier to land shots with against targets further away. It might seem a bit awkward to use against a guy zigzagging his way across a field on the other side of the map, but the M28's higher muzzle velocity will definitely give the gun more effectiveness over those medium ranges, meaning you won't have to lead your target's movements quite as much whilst you aim. The Commando Carbine can actually have its rubbish bullet speed increased a bit with the high velocity bullet spec but it's only going to boost it up to 400 meters per second, still 100 meters per second less than the M28. So regardless of whether you choose to equip that specialization, the M28 is still going to have the quicker bullets at the end of the day. This will definitely help to make the Commando Carbine feel easier to land shots with on mid-range targets, but the M28 is still going to be superior, even though it doesn't have access to high velocity bullets, giving it even more effectiveness for longer range battles. Now despite these two guns both being bolt action carbines, they actually have quite a few big differences regarding reliability, holding different amounts of ammo, reloading at different speeds, and even having different reload mechanics. But straight away, the most obvious thing we can see is that the Commando Carbine's actually going to have a bit of an advantage, because it's got the larger ammo capacity. It holds 8 rounds standard and uses detachable box magazines, whereas the M28 carries 2 rounds less with just 6 shots, and it doesn't use box magazines, but instead uses clips. Six rounds is the maximum the M28 can carry, meaning it should be able to deal with about two to three enemies per reload, depending on range and depending on whether or not you can hit your target. The Commando Carbine on the other hand can potentially kill more players with it having those bigger mags, but that's providing your enemies are within a close to medium range, otherwise it'll probably take more shots to take down those enemies, making those extra bullets less of a bonus. Speaking of extra bullets, the Commando Carbine can also have this capacity increased up to 11 with the extended mag specialization, giving you an extra free shots to play around with, usually enough to kill another player or help to account for a few missed shots. This gives the gun a 5 shot advantage over the M28, granting the Commando Carbine almost twice as many bullets, and because both weapons kill in 2 shots up to 50 meters, this means that the Commando Carbine is going to be a lot more reliable, especially if you've chosen to bump up its mag size. Taking a look at those reloads, the Commando Carbine has the faster tactical reload, swapping over those partially empty mags in just 2.46 seconds, though its empty reloads on the other hand are going to be a little bit slower, taking about 3.16 seconds. The interesting thing about the M28 is the fact that both its tactical and empty reloads are basically the same, with it using those M block clips, and it's going to take 2.8 seconds to reload them every single time. Unless of course you've chosen to equip the quick reload spec dropping those reload times down to just 2.38 seconds, which is even quicker than the Commando Carbine's mag swaps. But the Commando Carbine also happens to have that quick reload spec too, cutting down those tactical reloads to just 2 seconds, nicely beating the M28. Its empty reloads will be dropped down to 2.7 seconds, so a similar sort of time to the M28 standard reload, but combined with a larger ammo capacity, these fairly nippy speeds generally make the Commando Carbine a more dependable weapon as far as ammo is concerned which is pretty important, with it being a gun better suited for shorter ranges, where reliability plays a much bigger role in your survival, especially in situations when you need to take on a few enemies fairly close by. And that built-in suppressor could also be seen as a bit of an added bonus here too, helping to mask your shots and potentially help to conceal your position, so you can use the weapon stealthily from behind enemy lines. So which gun should you choose? The Commando Carbine and the M28 Tromboncino are very similar weapons that function in the same sort of way, 
They're typically designed to be used over medium ranges, and they both use a bolt action mechanism. But despite them having the same sort of passive aggressive role in the game, there's still a hell of a lot of differences between the guns to make them feel better suited for different playstyles. The Commando Carbine is definitely designed to be used within those early mid ranges, mainly due to the fact that it's not only going to seem more effective here, but also because it's going to feel a lot trickier to use against opponents further away. It's generally got the faster fire rate, and it's also going to seem a lot more reliable within shorter sightlines, where you're more exposed and open to attack. With it being able to manage with its ammo a tad better, having the faster tactical reloads and much larger magazines. These factors should help it excel within those closer ranges, but it's still not exactly a lightning fast killer machine, capable of rivaling a lot of the automatic weapons in the game. So you still might need to keep a bit of a distance between you and your enemy nevertheless. Not too much of a distance though, because that slower muzzle velocity is going to make the gun feel a lot harder to use, especially against players running around in unpredictable patterns far away. And that lower damage over distance is also going to increase its kill times a lot more too, lowering its ranged effectiveness even more. This is where the M28 comes into the scene, being a weapon slightly less suited to those hectic situations closer to all the danger, but a much better gun for taking down players further away instead. It might have a smaller ammo capacity with those 6 round clips, and so you won't be able to deal with as many enemies if you get surrounded or caught out in an awkward position. It's got access to an aid launcher, giving it some extra explosive power, making it a more destructive weapon to use against vehicles and cover. But that'll mainly play out like an additional gadget, rather than something that's going to give you a significant advantage over the Commando Carbine. But with the M28 having a faster bullet speed, making it seem much easier to use over mid to long ranges, along with its bullets hitting a bit harder over further distances too, allowing the gun to kill in less rounds, these factors combined generally make it the superior weapon for longer ranged fights with it often seeming a lot easier to use, and more versatile for taking down players over a wider range span. So that's just about it for this one folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with new content coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that next episode.